don't go the mighty jungle, the lion doesn't sleep tonight. Because uh, cause of all the noise, people letting off fireworks done in the middle of the night, it's awful. Anyhow, uh, do you like jungles? Do you like bingo? Bingo, jungle, jungle, bingo, live from Heathlands! Yay! Oh, yeah, I'll do that there in TV land. I shall put the piece of paper down here. And uh, welcome you all to a cheeky little bit of the afternoon bingo, which is held fortnightly. Joining me today, we've got one well, that's the room, the room we have over here, the lovely Donna. Hey. Oh. Yeah, she'll be uh, she'll be writing doing the things that way. Happens to be on Jefferson Square. Hey. Oh, I don't know what that was there. Hey. That, that was more of that. Oh, I'll say. And we've got oh, more where those come those come from uh, this afternoon because we've got some uh, some new uh, sort of little uh, puppetry things to join us this afternoon. Courtesy of the lovely Joy and Miss Helen. So, but anyway, we've got the uh, Mark original Jay over there. Hey. Welcome to Mark hey. over me over shoulder there. Oop, oop, wah. We have said Farmer in her customary bingo dress. There we are, look at that sparkle, ladies and gentlemen. But wait, there's more. Room the corner, we've got Abby. Hooray, we have yeah. Heather. Yeah. There we go. And we've got the lovely Joy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So all in all, we're all set for a and great got, afternoon. Got, you what now? And we've got Donna. I did her first, Brian. <laughs> you should watch what uh, the material we're doing. Anywho, um, okay, so I'll have a little scroll down. So on the edge there. On the, no, no, wait on, no, I'm just going to give uh, thing a, te a technical hint here. Where's my shaft? Right. Where's your shaft? Oh, yeah, right, it's, it's yeah. that one no, 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 Okay, so Facebook has slightly changed its format, it's okay. A slightly changed its format, ladies and gentlemen. Donna's gan Raj, frankly. She's, uh, there we go, here we go. All the way. Keep going, Donna. You've, you've knocked it up, right, here we go, hang on, I'll change, wait one second, here. There, it's there, you see. One second, ladies and gentlemen, as we go, it's not, here we go, there you go, right. So I'll put it back up then, because I need to see myself. There we go, right, oh, okay, so we've got, Facebook has changed its format somewhat, so who we've got to say hello to there, Donna, you'll have to go and do, and remember things in your mind. Right. So we've got, I can see myself, Cheryl, hello there from the, the new bubble, yes indeed ladies and gentlemen, the blue bubble opened this week and today we are welcoming our first into bingo com, uh, comrades from the blue bubble, so I think there today we've got, we've got Carla and we've got a, we've got a brace of Rudd's daughter, we have Anthony and Joanna, so um, welcome to, to the bingo session. You can go back from up the top and do with your daughter. So again, I'm going to give you a, another little prop allow. It's only a lion. Oh, I'm a lion. No, I'm not. It is a lion, ladies and gentlemen, made by the lovely Joy. So thank you for that. So thank you for that little rendition there, Heather. I'm sure. It's not stopping, is it? It's not stopping. It's not stopping. What the hell was that? So I'm going to get you having an operation. Anywho, so. She's still going. She's still unstoppable. The unstoppable Heather Dobson there. With her, uh, you get yourself on Britain's got uh, some of the. Well, I wouldn't go that far, Brian, but it's got, she haven't got some of it. Anyhow, so this is going to be one of the shorter uh, bingo games. So there's only 48 to come out. It's just for a bit of fun. Uh, but let us come up. We'll, we'll probably have a look at the, the comments and that. Because it seems, ladies and gentlemen, we have to scroll the whole screen up. So I have to be able to see what I'm, I'm reading. So we'll do them in the little breaks. So we'll be pulling out five. Then after five, Donna, Donna's right and doing, she's poised with the pen. We're going to do a little ring cap. Oh. Oh, here we go. The phone's ringing, so this probably means that you're not getting sound or something. So we'll see what happens. Just wait on a second. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's somebody want to speak to me, but it's okay. They can call me back later. So we're doing the five. Donna, right and down, we'll do the recap. Again, it's just for fun. And the theme of this week's bingo, ladies and gentlemen, is of course... What is it, Brian? Um, yeah. What bingo we're doing? Uh, can't remember. Can't remember bingo, ladies and gentlemen. So because you can't remember, I'm going to go for jungle. Have a look at the things oh, on. Oh, bingo. It literally will tell you on your bingo. Bit of anyway, we're done about you, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to get cracking on. So as I rummage into my cube of jungle madness, the first one I shall bring out is the... Hello. It's an award, and apparently it's some sort of fish. It is the Oscar, ladies and gentlemen. O-S-C-A-R, the Oscar. Oh, yeah, I got it. 
<laughs> see what see what I'm doing there, you see? Oscar. Yes. Oh, Th thank you, thank you. It's nice to get some appreciation, finally. I've got my glasses. You probably should have got your glasses before the game of bingo, of which you are participating, Heather. That watches your top. What does? So let's have a dig. Hydra and Oscar. Yeah, the same colour. Well, similar. Anywho, that was the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, Oscar. The next one out of my magic box, so to speak, I've dropped it now, is... <laughs> In fact, what? where is he? I've got things down and they've gone away. Here we go. Ooh, I say, it's the kissing bug. The kissing bug. Yeah, I've got it. Well, keep it to yourself, Brian. No, I've got it. <laughs> hey, the kissing bug, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm not ready. The kissing bug. Right, that was a number two, the kissing bug. I would have held myself with a little cheeky glass of water. You've had a good health out there in TV land, across the bubbles and wide and field in the Heathlands footprint, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we have. Right, Sarah, I promise I won't do it. I'll let you do the gag, okay? okay. It's the Toucan. Only Toucan play that game. Only Toucan play that game, Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Farber. The Toucan. Toucan play that game. Hey, Minou. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Toucan. There we go. But yeah, wait, there's more. As I give unto the you, good almighty. See, I mean, I've done this, this uh, jungle bingo a few times, and it's funny, I'll forget ones, you know what I mean? I thought I'd remember this one. The Blue Ram Chichlid, if you please. It looks like he's been shot in the middle there. The Blue, sorry about the focus, sort of being a bit jerky there. The Blue Ram Chichlid. Anyhow, you've had a, a decent week so far. It's been a bit of shocking weather yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. The rain was torrential today. Beautiful. Isn't it? Apparently, it's like on tomorrow and Friday, it's going to start heating up. It's going to be 20 degrees on Friday, but not dead sunny, I believe. Anyhow, that was the Blue Ram Chichlid. So that's far out of our first five. So the last one before we do a recap, cap, 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 is the... Horseshoe bat. Horseshoe bat? Yeah. I'm going to turn it around the other way. Probably because he looks like a bit like a horseshoe. See, I like him like that. His, his writing's upside down because he's, he's, uh, he's roosting, isn't he? The horseshoe bat! You're going to bat? Who was there? Why do you think bat sounds like that? I thought that you sort of got. Like, dead. I can't do it. I can't do it. I think the last time I was able to do that, Brian, I was 12 and ill. Horseshoe bat. Right, okay, so I'll do a little recap there, ladies and gentlemen. So that was a fly vote, and then we'll have a pink down. See so what you got to say. So the first one we had was the Oscar. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, the kissing bug. The toucan. Thank you. Um, the blue ram chichlid, or <laughs> chichlid. And the horseshoe bat. We're now going to scroll down and have a dig see what we've got. What we've got, look at that. Here we've got some good show. We've got Ethan, we've got him from Mike, and the evil. Then Grant, I from Mike. Oh, hello! Mr. Carton! Hey! Hang on, wait on, wait on. Mr. Carton Esquire, I salute you. Uh, can we give a big, massive shout out from the bubble here to Mr. Carter? Carter! Hey! Hey! Enjoying his holly bobs up there in Cyprus land. Now, I've told you, Michael, if you can hear me, I want you to spend no more than £50 on duty free for us. You know, you'll just be embarrassing yourself. I hope you're having a great time, and I believe we're going to catch you next week, so it'll be great to see you. You'll be brown as a bad I imagine, with tales of the Mediterranean. So that's one nice one from uh, from Mr. Uh, Mr. Carter there, and we had, oh, we've gone back, you've gone down again. Right, here we go. Donna's, oh, here we go. So, yeah, and that was just the recap of that, so that's fantastic. So, time marches on, ladies and gentlemen. But who's this cheeky fella to see below me if it's not stuck? 
it's a cheeky little laugher now. I'm going to call him, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him, uh, 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 no, I'm going to call him Daniel Flapjack. Oh, so I, just, I don't know, I've just reinvented him. That owl is now called Daniel Flapjack. And as you can see, Daniel <laughs> Flapjack is, hello, Sarah, is having who that said Daniel Flapjack? Oh, yeah, so I'm making a joke. Yes, I'm making a joke, Heather. <laughs> there we go. But without further ado, let's have an ink in my little box. And we have for you... <clears throat> I have to say, I want to say like a sort of superhero voice, almost like, uh, what do you call him? Hello, and welcome to... No, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's yeah. Alan Wicker. Yeah. What I'm going to say, in, in the voice of the, the Mandarin from Iron Man 3, etc., the mandrel. Mandrel. It was a jungle. A jungle at war. Mandrel. So I yeah, say the old say the old mandrel. So like something you get off the building site. It does. Doesn't it? The mandrel. Is a fancy pants kind of walking monkey. There you go, the mandrel. We now have, for your bingo delight, here we go, oh, you go. he's doing like a cheeky wink. I just looked like I was having a stroke there, when I saw him on camera, like, oh no. Call the emergency services, the dark clouds have finally come for my soul. The clown loach. Ah. Yes. Oh, the clown loach, ladies and gentlemen. Brian, what are you having for your say tonight? Uh, I'll ask you again. You know, bearing in mind this is for entertainment purposes for those within the bubbles and out there in the television, telecommunications uh, arena of the Evelyn's footprint. What are you having for your food tonight, Brian? I think. Yes. I'm having. Oh. A curry. Oh, what's our curry, Brian? Well, it's one that's uh, nearly burnt my mouth off yesterday. Well, yeah. What was that then? Was it, was it cold? No, it was hot. No, what was, what was, it, was it called? Was it called? Oh, what's the name? What's the fucking name? Welcome to the top notch, top flight <laughs> entertainment <laughs> capital of Europe, ladies and gentlemen. Right. It had. Aye. The spices. Right on your curry? Are you mad? <laughs> what? Sort of top. A balti? No. You know when you ask a question, ladies and gentlemen, out there in TV land, and you wish you hadn't? <laughs> I'm going to move on to the yeah, go on. leopard. Leopard. A leopard can never change its socks. Spots. Who's got spots? Right. Right. Oh, you sound with spots, man. It's a well-known phrase. A leopard can never change its socks because he can't. He hasn't got the opposable thumb. You see, ladies and gentlemen, can't get down there. There we go. The leopard. I'll do it once more, just there for you. Your viewing pleasure. The leopard. We now have the one, the only. He hasn't got two toes. He hasn't got five. He hasn't even got four. He is the three toed sloth. Hanging about upside down, fanning him out in a jungle. But let's see what it looks like the other way around. Oh, hey, <laughs> he looks happier there, doesn't he, for some reason? So, again, the way it is on the card, so you can see the writing, which may be of importance. The three toed sloth. Actually, maybe that looks like it's something like that. Oh, it's either that or he's climbing a tree like that, or he's running down a tree. Yes. Or he's hanging, I think it's hanging from a tree. I think he is ever. The three toed sloth. Now then. Is he just one more there, you don't know? One more. One more. Okay, you've got the next one. Look at this fella right now, <coughs> Mr. Greener. Yes. There are times in a man's life when he's called upon to rise up to an occasion that's oh. called upon him. Sometimes by humanity, sometimes by the universe itself. This is one of those times for you, Mark, as I give to thee, ladies and gentlemen, the ring to Lima. Up you get, Mark, in the corner there. there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Hey! hey. And maybe as the next two, do the little dance there, Mark. <laughs> hey, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Top class, 
entertainment at a price you can afford. How can you afford it? It's free. There you go. So cheers for that. We've set off a chain reaction of Lima stuff. So we can tell them. But wait. Oh, is it not time for a recap? Here we go. The last five, ladies and gentlemen, were as follows and in this order. We had the mandrill. We had the clown loach. The leopard. I don't even do that for leopard. The three toad sloth. And um, we had this, the old, the old, the old ring tailed lever. Yeah, there we go, thanks for that. Look at this fella, look how happy he is. Oh no, I've dropped me cowling. Hey, look at that. Hey. He looks like he's playing the guitar. There you go. Every day, it's just more and more entertaining. I'm going to give you this fella, do you? Look at that. He looks enjoying himself. It's like the Blues Brothers of the Kakadu world. There you go. I've got some more coffees lined up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're all friends. I've lost him now. We'll always be at the forefront. Oh, I say! Oh, there we go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Anyhow, time marches on. Let's give you another five. I'll tell you what we haven't done. We haven't a bit paid down to see if there's any chunter. So Donna's going to scroll down. I'm going to continue looking and doing the battle. What we've got? We've got loads of facts here. We've got jungles and not rainforest. What? Uh, they are in fact dif they are in fact different. Jungles have more open canopies, making it for easier for plants to grow. There we go. Thanks for that, Donna. I mean, I saw that from there, so we're going back to the top. So the uh, the next one is a uh, it's a bit it's a bit of a Cockney character, I'm thinking, because he's going, oi oi, you <laughs> lucky people, oi oi, oi oi, oi oh, he looks like he's stunned that fella, doesn't he, Donna? That's where it's called the eye eye. Aye aye. Aye aye. Aye aye, Captain. The puncher that writes the water's that. Aye aye. A Y E. A Y E. Oh, aye aye. Exactly. That's why I kept saying aye aye. That's a funny name for an animal. It is indeed. Aye aye, Captain. The aye aye. He looks very shy. He does. Aye aye is shy. A shy aye aye. Aye aye. A shy aye aye. Look at that, eh? Seamless, you can't see the joint. Okay. We know of. Panther, 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 chameleon. Oh, yes. See, see, what, see what I'm doing here, ladies and gentlemen. Panther chameleon. It is a panther chameleon. Where are they from, Smith? Uh, just took the box there. Brilliant. Oh, just, uh, I'd imagine somewhere in the jungle. Just as a, just do it as it's uh, it's like Boy George Culture Club 1983 and in the gap the panther 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 chameleon for your viewing pleasure. Next up, up the box we have. Oh, I've held one of these as a baby when they were that big, and I've held one of these as an adult when they were that big, that big. That doesn't make any sense because my hand's just massive there. I just realised what I did. The tarantula. Tarantula. Just bend it a bit so I'm getting a bit of fear because it's actually better if I do it at a crazy angle. The tarantula. Tarantula. Okay. Next up we have. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Who no, then? Okay. Here we go. Massive boys these are. Quite vicious. You can take your face off. The Komodo dragon. Looks like a kid there, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's like you really just eat you don't want to. The Komodo dragon. I wonder what the monkey feels, feels about this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It is another monkey. It's called uh, Teddy Swiggles. Oh no! There you go. Oh no! Right, there we go. Uh, so that's the Komodo dragon. Here we go. I've got the pop of the showstopper. Is that five or one more? Okay. Here we go. Did you, do you know you used to go to school with a fella whose surname was Temming? Donna. 
No, I didn't go. I just wondered, did anybody go to school? It was, uh, was somebody whose surname was Temming. Yeah. No, I didn't either. Yeah. But apparently, Temming had a, 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 a tragger pan. Yeah. What? I don't know. But this is called Tremix, or Tremix, I should say, or Temmix even, tragger pan. That's an hard one to pronounce. It took us about nine attempts. Temmix Tragopan. What the hell is a Tragopan? Well, whatever it is, it lives in the jungle. There you go. Tremmings, cup can. Okay, it's time for recap. Okay, I'm gonna have that sip of water actually. Hey, Brian. Yes. You know a pop singer Madonna. Yes. Hi. Have you ever wondered what she would look like if she was suddenly turned into a pangolin? No. Wonder no more. Here we go. Do, do, do. Oh, no. There's Madonna with a little cheeky bra on, having a dance in the jungle. There we go, yes, you haven't you seen it here first? The stuff of nightmares. <laughs> it seems a bit strange, it's massively strange, Heather. Right, go on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> As we follow Brian's descent into madness, let me give you the recap. We had the oi oi. We had the panfa 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 chameleon. We had the tarantula, the komodo dragon, and then we had that fella Temminx tragapan. Sounds like a disease, to be honest with you. Can't come into work tomorrow. What's the matter? I've got a bit of Temminx tragapan. Well, you stay off and don't come in till you're better, Spit. I look like a tarantula above you as well. Looks like a what now? A bit like a tarantula above you on the ceiling. It does a bit, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. that's good, though. Uh, so we're going to have a spy down and see what we've got, folks. Do la 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 afternoon. Oh, afternoon from Fisher Towers out there, do you know? I hope you're doing all right. Here we go. You want another fight? Boom! We'll give you them. The, the word jungle comes from the Sanskrit word meaning uncultivated land. Ooh. So just like our oh, there, really, isn't it, in Sanskrit? Anyhow, so much is on, does it not joy? Let's have an ache as we move on to round whatever it was. Here we go. The... The cockatoo. Uh, yes, got that. That's okay then. Mark, before you even start, Mark Green in the back of the head, sticking it away. And I need what you said the back. I'm not saying no. Before we take it off air. There you go. Are you thinking something? Stay there. We're moving on from this. I'm, I'm putting it down now. <coughs> There we go, I'm having a drink of water as I ratchet me cowie. Never heard of this one. I've heard of a, <coughs> what do you call them? A stick insect, but this is a jumping stick. I see, Reds, maybe just somebody with a bit of wire just in the jungle, just gone. Come on, let's, let's fool the anthropologists and that. The jumping stick. Very stick like, it has to be said. Are you looking point at me there when you said that? <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> hey. I'm wounded. Puts the knife in, twists the bloody knife, right? Jump in, stick. <laughs> okay, next up we have. The, well, everyone knows this fella. No, I've meant to be said it before, and it sounds, it sounds stupid, but it's very shame. I've met a few of these once in Blackpool, and they're really massive. It's the giraffe. No, but it, yeah, because you know they're going to be tall, eh? You know, you yeah, see them on the I've telly. Seen that in as well. There you go. No, mine was in the weather spoons near the seafront. I, I don't even know if they got served. No, it was at the zoo. Line. Oh, line from oh. Sarah Farber there, the first. Give us a shout out when you get a lines and stuff, you know what I mean? Again, it's just for fun. You're not going to win anything apart from our eternal gratitude. Uh, the giraffe. New then. Next up, we yeah. have. Here we go. See, again, you know, these, some of these bingo things, they're drawn by artists who kind of, I don't know, I think they make them try and look a bit more cuter than they actually are. You know, this fella, you think, oh, I'll give you a nice little cuddle, when in fact, with one paw, it would remove the skin from your face, as I give you the Asian black bear. Uh, it's like slow, isn't it, to make them seem sweet? 
Yes, the anthropomorphization of animals. Yeah, you know, we, we, we suckers for it. The Asian black bear. That's what was in the jungle book. Yeah. Basically, aye, aye. Yeah. Oh, was he called Baloo, wasn't he? No, actually, that was the panther, wasn't it? The black panther. Oh, was he? What was he called? Shere Khan was the tiger, was he? Was it? It was Shere Khan. Yes. I'm guessing stuff, it's a panther. Aye. Anywho, next up we have. That's one. Hello. <laughs> I've seen these, I mean, not in Blackbird, though, but I've seen them on the television, don't I? Okay. And they are, they're very pink. They're very pink. Okay. The Amazon River Dolphin. But he looks like, I mean, he's a very right angled dolphin if you look at that, don't he? He's got like a flat back. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and hey, I'm going to is that he's meant to be, you know, that's his, I don't know what's happened there. I don't know who did these pictures, but I think we could do a better job of these, frankly. Okay, time for a recap, ladies and gentlemen. So the last five we had out there, yeah? It was the old cockatoo. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, the, this, you know, the, uh, the jumping stick. The giraffe, the tall thing of the savannas. In fact, jungle, giraffes don't live in jungles. I think we're selling people a lie. Um, the Asian black bear. I think they live in the wild, don't they? Well, they live in the wild, obviously. I mean, you don't see them down there, uh, you know, down the high rise blocks of flats, well, do you? They live in the zoo. Well, they're put in the zoo, they don't, you know what I mean? Anyhow, debate over. We had the Amazon River dolphin. Here we go. Do you, know, do you want to have uh, another hit of uh, the Madonna pangolin? There you go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what's this? Ooh, I say! Followed quickly by the... Oh no! Oh no! There you go. Right, so, I'm going to have another drink of my water. Any crack down the bottom there? Here we go. Over half the world's species live in jungle environments. Here we go. Bag here was the panther. Thank you, we got. Oh, here we got. Right. Okay. For your viewing pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, at home, in the bubbles of the Heathland's footprint. Why is there no medicine in the jungle? Because the parrots eat them all. Hey! The parrots eat them all. It's a winner. Hey, hey yeah, target audience, you know, you've got in the palm of your hands. Right, okay, so. On to the next five, ladies, and indeed, gentle people and sentience all over the universe. Here's the next one. We have, I don't know what he's doing, it's like he's scratching his foot, this fella. The ch hello. Oh, oh, it wasn't my. That, that I took I took the tumbleweed for you, Jeanette Fisher, by the way. There you go, and you owe me one. Right, we have that there, little fella scratching his foot there. The chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. Okay. Chimpanzee, ladies and gentlemen. Next out, I have. Finn Who's this fella? Oh, well, he's a bit cheeky. It's the emerald. The emerald tree boa. A big green snake, if you will. I see what you did there. What do you know what I'm going to do, Brian? Hey. I'm going to rise above it. I'll go, come on, Steve. No, 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 no. no. The emerald tree bore. Hold on. If he was thinner, right? If he was thinner, yeah. right? He would be the emerald tree bore narrow. Yeah. Boa, see, that's yeah. got more legs. Yeah. Well, it hasn't. It's a snake. You know what I mean? Right, how many more? Oh, I've got loads, yeah, hi. I'm getting it in myself, it just seems like it's longer than it is. Where you now, Bob? Oh, hello! It's our old friend, the pangolin. There you go. Compare and contrast. I thought I was wondering, like, what? Well, you do. The pangolin was. I can how imagine. Is that now? Well, there you go, you see, it all become clear in some sort of muddy way. The pangolin. Oi, that's me, I'm here, he's. Oh, blimey, no mistake. That would definitely be strange if a pangolin were a bra. 
Well, you know, what? it wouldn't be that, wouldn't yeah. it? Uh? Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. think there's been a David. I mean, you know, you have like you know the deep blue sea, whatever it is. David, David Attenborough, <laughs> gone round the world to see creatures in their habitats wearing underwear. I, I can't see the BBC commissioning that right now. Here we are, having deep in the undergrowth, and as we see that uh, he's got some some new undercrackers from Primark. Where is he? That's that fish dream. Oh no! Right. <laughs> it would be. I don't think a bit of David, even David, the great David Attenborough, wouldn't be able to round up 200 million pun for that nonsense. Anywho, we now have. How the hell? Oh, do you know what? I'm just going with it. The bull shark. The bull shark. Oh, let's right, see where you're going with that one here. Yeah. The bull shark. You want two lines? Yeah, I got two lines. Oh, nice one, Sarah. Yeah. The bull shark. I don't know why you made it that long. It's felt like it. No way. Bull shark, bull shark. One more, yeah? Okay. You're very silent when you do this, Donna. She's not a talker. She doesn't chunt her. Oh, here we can. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Need backup at all, this person. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, we need to. Uh, yeah, you gotta work on. Oh, she's not. She even doing silently, just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In case her actual, uh, you know, facial expressions somehow make her noise. Anyhow, the rhinoceros beetle. Can't hardly one say this, just sort of basically a black smudge in the middle of the card. The rhinoceros beetle. There we go. Rhino people. Well, we'll have a little recap in a minute. I'm just going to have a little more drink of my water. Yes, sir. -y. Ah, I'm going to finish that one over there. I'm going to go for the full rotate. Oh, kind of normie things in the way. That could have been a very nasty accident. Okay, the last five, ladies and gentlemen, work for your viewing pleasure. The chimpanzee. The, uh, the emerald tree boar. Nada. Um, the the pangolin. <laughs> that is. Um, or her, as the case may be. The bull shark. And the old rhino beetle. Go. Cheers, Donald. Show a little digs down, see what we've got, see if we've got any more fats and things like that, you know. Ah, uh, what we got? Yeah, here we go. Alright, what the. Ellen, that's beneath you. The urge to sing The Lion Sleeps Tonight is just a whim away. A whim away. Yay! A whim away. A whim away. And look, see, he's lapping it up, he is, isn't he? He's lapping it up. Right. It's a long day. Okay, don't you go then, Donna, so to speak. Yeah, That is very true. <laughs> right, anyhow. No, no, please. Oh, yeah, please. What? Encourage me more. No, that's not going to happen, right? Any, any, anyhow, anyhow, the black rhinoceros. Looks like more of a grey one to me. But there you go, there. He wants to pick himself. The black rhinoceros. Red squirrels don't look red, they look like brownie. Aye, but the more. Ah, you know what you mean. The more, uh, the more red than grey. Red brown. There we go. The russet squirrel, then, maybe. Yeah. The black rhino. Okay. That's not a bit like uh, you know, the old coconuts of the horse. Right, but beside me, you won't be able to say this, as you want, but lovely Donna, she's sitting there like that. She's far old again and dreaming of a pony. Unbelievable. <laughs> right, so what we got? The, uh, oh, 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 here we go. The, not the western, not the northern, not the southern, but the eastern gorilla. Yay! Is that because you've got it, or just because you, you like gorillas, Brian? No, I'm great. That's all right. It's all right, it's good. Mine! 
Like, wait, it's all, it's all gone on, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know in the comments uh, if and when you get a lion. Yeah. Eastern girl. Uh, yeah. Oh, so I don't count diagonals in my head. Why? I just don't. Why? I don't. I just don't. Yeah, but it's a line, isn't it? One of many things are lines, Brian. Anywho, what am I doing? Uh, next one out the the box there, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. We have. Oh, he's got a big old mouth on him. The army ant. Look at them pincers. Oh, they use them for stitching. You know, if you like cut in the jungle, yeah, you can clamp them over your wound, like that, and then pull its head off. Well, you know, you pull the body off, and the head clips like that, and they use them as a... Yeah. No, they've, no, they've done it in, uh, you know, in wars and that. What, really? Yes, and like, you know, like the, the ancient South Americans and that. Well, the fact that you've got a massive gash on your arm is going to be hurting anyhow, but they're, they're, they're clamped together, you say, so it keeps the wound together and clean. It's a bit dark as a fact, I grant you, but you know, a fact nonetheless, eh? you know. Yes. Can't shy away from the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Right, next up. Ooh, a minute, quite a bit askew there. We have, next out, we have, here's all right, isn't he? The tapir. T A P I R. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a cow pig, if you will. Tip ya. Do 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 do. The tip ya. Okay, thank you. But now, if what have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Easy, this one. Ah, oh, just hurt myself. Oh, oh, take it. The the tiger. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. Yep. She can't tiger. Do you know why tigers are orange? No. Because they can't be green. What are you talking about, Smith? Have you gone insane? No, but seriously. Uh, because animals can't have green fur. Oh. Do you know what I mean? The next best colour for confusing oh. and camouflage is orange in where they live. So, you know. <clears throat> eh? And is it to do with prey? Yes, obviously, but um, because they can't be green, they're orange. And that sounds oh. daft, but it's true. You don't believe me? Google it. Right, so you get... Don't do it now, though. Right, we had the black rhino. The eastern gorilla. That's a very interesting way of spelling both eastern and gorilla. Gorilla. They are in the eastern. So that don't need it. Rubbish. And and no double letters at all in Gorilla. Anyhow, oh the, the best one, sorry. We had the army ant, which uh, Donna's initially put down as like imagine your mother's sister was in uh, was was in the army. Oh, yeah, there's there's the navy uncle and there's my army ant. Oh, no. The army ant. We had the tape yet, had no problem with that one. And the tiger, ten out of ten on that one, Donna frankly. You're coming on leaps and bounds. Have we got any chunter in the below parts? Here we go, here we go. Fact number three. Tapius Corsa's relatives are rhinos and horses. Not, a, not their aunt, apparently. There you go. Thank you for that. Okay, next up, as we come out of the darkness and into the light, we have the vampire crab. And I don't know why. Helen, find out, post it up. It's not because it's the young dead so, or explodes it, in daylight. I thought maybe it might soak your blood. Because you know, vampire bats. Yeah, no, they do. But it'd be a pity. You know what I mean? I think you'd probably have to run away from a crab if it had intense. You maybe just died as that dog drinks blood of animals. So. Um, Who knows? We'll fit out some short on the case as we speak. Um, okay, Heather. Or maybe you just dad um, not dresses up with fangs at Halloween. I don't know. We'll fit out, huh? Hey! There we are, see? Yes? Do you get it ever? Fangs a lot. There we go. That's the noise of the penny dropping. Pachang. Here we go. What the hell? This is metal. This one's 
share with you. Imagine if a mouse got dressed up, right, as an hedgehog, but he was really crap at making costumes. If that happened, you'd get the ten wreck. Look at that. It looks like a right ten wreck. It does. It's, I don't even know. In ten wreck, it sounds like it's backwards. What's it backwards? Kernet. Right, so that. Kernet. Not the frog. <laughs> ten wreck. <laughs> oh dear, ladies and gentlemen, I, I wake up screaming so much, you know. <laughs> screaming. Ten wreck. Okay. Now then, just make sure my things are in order. I reckon we've got about another 10 or 15. I've got a line. Oh, nice one, Abby's got a line. Well done, the abster. We know of. I say I could do it. I'm going to do a sort of thing, but not a minute here, I'll get it. Ulysses, Ulysses, soaring through all the galaxies in search of Earth, flying into the night. Ulysses, no one else can do the thing you do. I'm just going to give up. It's the Ulysses butterfly. There you go. Does nobody else remember Ulysses 31? Nah. Unbelievable. Ever, can you remember it? Uh, when was that out? Uh, I don't know, early 80s. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> God bless you. Ulysses, no, mid 80s actually, mid 80s. Ulysses uh, butterfly. Uh, no, I don't remember. Oh, well, there you go. Right, next up we have the... Hold up, get out of it. Oh, keep getting weird spasms in my hands. What's going on with you? Right, here you go. The pygmy kingfisher. For those of you who've been doing the wondrouses of nature's, with me having bad self and the lovely Miriam, and you've been doing a bit done as well, you've done the old kingfisher yeah. features heavily in our work at the moment. That's the pygmy one. Nice little coloured fella. One more. We nev. It's another snake. It's the yellow anaconda. Yellow anaconda. There we go. Now they'll have a little bit of my water and then we'll get the recaps done. Thank you much, So Donna's, Donna's having a normal, because Donna's uh, obviously like a millionaire, and she has a roast dinner in the middle of the week. Was it chicken tonight, then? Um, no, I've sausages tonight. I thought you said you were having a roast. Well, I do everything else, but just sausages tonight. Oh, just, I don't know, mm -hmm. Sausage, well, what sort of sausages? Um, no. Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah, just, you're knocking, you're walking about sausage, then. <laughs> it's special. Right, we had the vampire crab. The ten wreck. That what new? Oh, here we go. She couldn't do Ulysses, so she just put un, un butterfly. I admire the the, the try you did, though. I admire, admire the struggle that was there for you. Uh, uh, yeah, the Ulysses butterfly. I know what that says the piggy, pygmy, pygmy. But there's no M in it, you put piggy. <laughs> I shouldn't chide her, she's trying. She's trying to mess with her. The pig, pig, I'm, I'm saying piggy now. Pygmy kingfisher. And finally, spelt roughly the right way, is the yellow anaconda. There you go. Oh, no, Donna's took a pop. There you go. And let's all have a dig stone, see if there's out there, uh, Donna. See what we've got. Okay. Hey, we can. Thanks for coming up with the goods, Alan. Vampire crabs are known as such because they are nocturnal and striking bright yellow eye, which is slightly bright yellow eye, com compared to their pink purple shell. Shells? Shells. She's as bad as you, don't I? I don't know what's going on. Is there something in the water today? But thanks for that, Alan. Right, the score does do. Oh, I love this. is my oh, favourite. Do you know what? I just want this fellow on a t shirt. Seriously. Right, have a look at. It is, isn't it? But have a dig have a dig to this fella. I just want it on a tattoo. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind a tattoo. And this one. The tomato frog. Look at that! Oh my god. Tomato frog. Tomato frog. Imagine having Jonathan salad. 
Well, I'd, I'd ask him to leave, frankly. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, do you want, uh, John there? Do you want any frogs in it? Do you know what I'm trying to cut down? Trying to cut down, trying to lose a bit of weight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Only have frogs on the weekend, then. You know what I mean? Tomato frog. Sounds like, like a really bad superhero. Just a bloke, and every time he eats a tomato, he turns into a frog and turns very red. And do you know what his superpower is? Absolutely nothing. That's it. Do you know what I mean? We're rubbish. I don't know. Even Marvel couldn't get six half hour episodes out of that concept. You mean that, like, it couldn't be a regular film? It'd be rubbish ever. Do you know what I mean? Half an hour of a bloke just turned into a red frog, just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Eating a few flies at the end. Anywho, it'd be rubbish ever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, anywho, the hippopotamus. The hip hop apotamus. That's good. Put it, mark it down then, cross it off. Is the hip hop apotamus his lyrics are preposterous? There you go. The hippopotamus. Kushti. There they all up. Asai Ramaj. We now have. Boom. The Orchid Bee. No blue fella. He's like a fancy pants blue ball. Is he had none to his actual antenna like a motorbike? Oh, look at that, look at the picture. He's like that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I just hope that he's be behaving himself. He is behaving himself. Hey! Hey, yeah. That German. Yeah. There's no subscription for this channel, you know, but he for free. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not six ninety nine a month job, direct debit and that. Or could be. No, say no. Okay. But we now have the the Nile crocodile. In the Nile crocodile. In the wild, instead of in the wild. Yes, exactly right. Ever we got there. We took that leap of faith. There we go. The Nile Crocodile. That's quite all right. There we go. The Nile Crocodile. So you say something about your mates, I didn't know that book. There we go. We have the... Gurami! Basically, a red fish, black stripe, with a couple of big old whiskers. I have a lot of the world's thinnest legs. The Gurami. Yeah. Another line. Nice one, B. Rye. Thank you. The Gurami. Right, I'm just going to check how many we've got left. Yeah, that's the best one, too. Yeah, so we've got eight after this lot, so I'm going to do one more lot, five, after we've done the recap, and then there'll be the final three. Okay, we had my favourite, frankly, the tomato frog. Lovely. The tomato what frog. What kind of lettuce you uh, use with it? The tomato <laughs> frog. I think you'd have to have the lettuce frog. I see that in the bottle. Let's just with it. As I sail alone in the sea of confusion, <laughs> with only the storm clouds of absolute nonsense to guide me, I'm going to carry on with me recap. We had the tomato frog, the hippopotamus, she's put hippo. Say no more. Yeah. Oh no! Um, we had the orchid bee. We had the Nile Crocodile, again you just put Crocker, laziness, laziness, Nile Crocodile and the Gourami, whatever that was. Oh we'll have a next note, see what we've got, if you zoom out there, don't it? Scoring, Andrew's got two lines, nice one, Mr B there. Oh, he went, Mike, four lines, it's all gone on, isn't it? It's all gone on. Oh, so the last, we'll do final five, we'll have a bit more digs, and I say, with, with this sort of thing, it's only 48, we're doing out here, so it's a shorter one. 
and the lines will come thick and fast. Just to the way Facebook seems to have organised itself now, we have to physically scroll down at the moment. So it's probably someone could click, but I don't want to funny about with it while I'm doing a live broadcast. But we have to sort of scroll down so I can't see it in real time. Okay, we now have. Ah, I've got my hands stuck. <laughs> we have the cack of the rack! Oh, Ooh, I'll say! Hang on, where's he gone? Ooh, there we go. The cack of the rack. What's happening with like hands, man? Keep getting shashums. Cock of the rack. Little red fella in a tray. Uh, what we on? Right, okay. Just to move this thing, because I'll take the lid off, because I can't get my hand in no more. We have the. Oh, he's a fella, isn't he? Upside down, he funnies about with his tail. <laughs> the blue bird of paradise. Line. Line. Nice one there. Actually, I've got... How's Bingo? Hey, hey, hey! There we go. Hey. You have to be quicker than that doing the gala. Do you know what I mean? Somebody who took you 200 upon. The, oh, yes. the blue boy of paradise. My God. <laughs> I should have gone before. Well, there we go. Now. Yeah. Hang on, how could you have got it? Right, I'm going to leave it. Okay, next we have... That's okay. Do you know what, Brian? For this next one, I'm telling the truth. That's right. I'm not lying. <laughs> there you go. As I sink to your murky depths, Jefferson. What the hell was that? Yeah, right. Oh, was that a lion? Okay. Huh? Oh, hi, of course. And then he began in the jungle, the mighty jungle. Bam, 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 bam. Thanks to Joy for that. I'm not, I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. I'd just, I'd literally use yeah. that gag. What I'm doing, does this look, hang on, I've done it wrong here. That looks about heat, heat height. If anybody's ever wondered what I'd look like with a lion's head, that's, that's, that's me. Um, I think I look all right, actually. I think I could get away with that. As a look, unfortunate nature. I could have a lion. I could have a lion. Unfortunately, nature gave me this. Right. Lion in bed? Yes, indeed. Uh, moving away from that recursive pun, I'll give you the three banded armadillo. Oh, yes, I've got that one as well. Excellent. Who's got that one? Yeah, you've finished, haven't you? Yes, there you can. You can't look if you've got bingo, man. <laughs> it's not infinite bingo. And then, what she was? That's quite sad in itself, Brian. <laughs> what? What's it like? It's like a metaphor. It's like a bingo game that never ends. The never-ending bingo. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's all happening, ladies and gentlemen. The and look, ladies and gentlemen, I live and breathe. A special guest star has just put it. Yay! You can't see it from there. Get in view of the camera. Bill, you still don't know how television works, do you? Mr. Bill Park and his squire of the Spanish, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Hey. There we go. So... Next up, is this the last one before the five? Yep. Okay, we have. Wilson's an easy one there to jump. I'm sure you've all seen them on the television. You may have seen them at zoos or safari parks. It's the Asian elephant. House. House for Santa, nice one. Oh, I have, I can't, I can't, I can't get it now. I'm near the climax, don't I? Do you know what I mean? The Asian elephant. Uh, is that it? Okay, so this is. The last, the last five I'm going to recap, after that there'll be final four, and that's it, game over. As I say, there's just lo lots of chunks of gun on it, ain't um, After I've done the last four, that will all be withdrawn out of the box of magic. If you haven't got them all, that means you've got to rise somewhere. We had, you don't get this a gala, do you? Right, we had the cock of the rack. We had the blue boy, oh, I say. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! How? We had. Oh, was that half an hour there? Oh, there we go. When did you get that one? I read the last one. It was about 12 minutes ago. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Be more specific. Delayed house. Yeah. Oh, house. Right. You, the planning permission has been denied, Brian. <laughs> right. Actually, I'm going to try again. I did not cheat. Right. I Shush. Did not. I'm trying to recap for the ladies and gentlemen out across the million people's footprints. 
At home and in the bubbles. Right. We had the cock of the rock. Thank you. We had the blue bird of paradise. We had the lion. No, I was telling the truth. We had the three bonded armadillo and the Asian elephant, ladies and gentlemen. Let's crack on with this. Oh, I say. Carnival of Chaos. There we go. New then. I'm just having a dig, see ya. What about the giraffe weasel? We've had that. Right. Uh, fact, although the name king of the jungle, the lion predominantly lives on the savanna and grassland. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, the film The Lion King had its name changed at the last minute. Um... Um, no, it was going to be. It was going to be called King of the Jungle, and it was changed to the Lion King. And um, Abby's got a house, ladies and gentlemen. Again, after these final four, out there in the group, all over the place. In fact, globally, you should all have a house. Brian, I need to crack on. I'd rather have a bungalow than a house. Why? Well, you just said house. Yeah, it's not working as a joke, no, Brian. Not working. Delayed house. Right, hang on. Hey, 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 Joy. Joy be upon us. Right, I'm going to try and get these last four one out before they have some sort of collapse. We had, we know we have, the giant anteater. It looks like a tin opener from the olden days. Hang on a minute. Oh, no. Right, okay, there's going to be a steward's inquiry, isn't it? The giant what? anteater. What? Right. As chaotic scenes behind me, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as we try. I did. I did. I did. Can I see this thing go through? No. Evidence. One second. No. Wait. Hang on. No. It's with deep regret and shame, ladies and gentlemen, I have to report that Brian Jefferson is what it can only be no, called no, as a no. cheating get. He's only marked off two that I haven't even called who yet. There you go. Uh, well, as I now give you yeah. the giraffe weevil. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm three point cheating now, Brian. The shame is upon me. No, no, Mark, you doesn't matter. Bingo doesn't work out there. Imagine going to Tabata. I've just filled all the numbers out. Can I have me 10 grand, please? It doesn't work that way. And finally, thankfully, at the end of this tempestuous, emotional roller coaster ride that's frankly withered me, we have. Here's another one you didn't get. And then it's going to take some sort of, you know, victory at the end of this. The red bellied piranha. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, even including Brian, the cheat, yes. Jefferson, um, all of you out there, in this bubble, in the blue, in the orange, in the green, whatever you may be on site, and out there in TV land, in the Heathlands footprint, ladies and gentlemen, you should all have a ass. Yay! He's happy, isn't he? Yeah, he's trying to, trying to paper over that crap. Well, so, well. Th thank you. So thank you very much for joining us this week, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go around the room giving everybody individual thanks. So we have big thanks to the lovely Donna there. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Spread yeah. atrocious, but the recapping was fantastic. A later edition with Mr. Bill, Brian, yeah. the Cheats, Jefferson, yes. Mark yes. Original G, Greener there, who will give us all also the Lima thing going on. We are going yeah. to move this a bit, Sarah. We have Sarah in the sparkly bingo rotating oh, yes. dress of, of loveliness. We have the lovely Abby. We have the lovely Heather. We have the lovely Joy. So, new then. Right. So, next uh, week's so going to be the cooking live thing. Uh, as we do, we uh, alternate between the cooking stuff uh, and the bingo. Now, in two weeks' time, even though it's only going to be the 20th of October, we're going to do a sort of a Halloween themed bingo because the next one after that would take us into November. So we thought we'd do it previous rather than late. So it's gonna be it's gonna be another shorter one. 48 cards drawn out, and it's gonna be the scary bingo. Ooh. That was uh There you go, that's uh it won't belie me. <laughs> that one had a big voice. There you go. Um, right, so from all you get ready to hit that button, you're already till 
So from all of us seeing the purple bubble, the bubble where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this afternoon. We certainly have a think, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. No, I need bother. It's always a pleasure, never a chore. Always interesting, never a bore. So from us to you, out there in the groups, out there in the bubbles, out there in the Heathlands footprints in the wider world. Uh, until next time we meet, goodbye! Bye! Ta-da! Bye. Bye. <laughs> and that one? Bye-bye!